the first question is why why are you Jewish or you know were you born Jewish did you convert I was born Jewish yes, yes. <laughs> I was born I Jewish was... but um, most people who you meet that are Jewish uh -huh. were born Jewish there are some who chose to be Jewish okay and um, that is in contrast to previous generations where because of persecutions people were embarrassed to be Jewish and try to hide their Jewishness. Right. And today as time goes on hopefully more and more people will identify themselves as Jews. It is my belief that there are over 20 million, 20 to 30 million people in the United States who come from Jews. They mm -hmm. may or may not be halachically Jewish mm -hmm. because Jewish identity is based upon the mother. But using simple mathematics, um, at least half of them would still be Jewish because as long as they are children of a Jewish mother, okay. then they would be Jewish. Okay. And many of them just disappeared uh -huh. because they were distant and because of the difficulties and because of past persecutions. Persecution. And it is my hope that, that people will begin to emerge, just as many people who find interest in religion and looking at the roots of religion find that, and I will say this and hopefully it will not be offensive to you, no. that authenticity is based upon originality. God doesn't change his mind. The Bible was given by God. Mm -hmm. In case God changes his mind, God has to come in the same um, venue that God came the first time and presented it. Now, we have that the Torah was presented to all of the Jewish people at one time. Yes. And we were present, the Jewish people were all present, at the time that God gave the Torah on Mount Sinai. Now if there was a change that would require God coming to the entire people saying I've changed my mind no, forget about the old one we, okay. we got a new, a, a new context. That did not happen and therefore any claims that God changed his minds are actually 100 percent false. The fact that people wish to believe something is because everybody wants to have some 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 belief system and if uh, the relationship with God merely requires some lip service that's a lot easier than having to undergo certain uh, restrictions regarding one's behavior mm -hmm. and so that's what happened in the history of religion but I want to be very very clear that this is not a matter of choice and choosing. Mm -hmm. It either is or is not. And if it is right. not, better not to do it. If it is, then we are all obligated. Go ahead. Okay. Well, that kind of, it says, what are three basic or core theological beliefs in your faith? Okay, number one, there is only one God. And God is indivisible. God has no helpers. God has no... Uh, associates, right. he's got no sons, he's got no brothers, he's got no daughters, he's got no fathers, he's got no mothers, he's got no distinguishable parts. God is singular okay. and is absolute, omnipresent, omnipotent, 